Hey dearies, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deary and today this is my update, update of an updated cast mods video. My last cast mods video was over seven months ago, so I feel like now is the right time to give y'all an updated version because lots of mods have been added. So let's start with my cast background. This is the mirrored up cast background by Viaxid, but the current version I'm using is by Dumb Baby over on Patreon, and this one is a soft pink color which i am obsessed with also by vaxid i am currently using their front glow version 2 rim cast lighting on my sim she looks a lot more lit up on top than she does on the bottom then we have the stand still in cast mod which just makes your sim stand very still in cast this mod just stops them from moving around too much and doing that weird chuckling laughing and looking around motion so the next mod i'm going to show you is supposed to be a two-parter mod they're supposed to work together Together, but I never got around to downloading the second one because I keep forgetting to. This is the CDD Fresh Start mod. So like as soon as you get inside cast, you automatically go one by one and remove everything. This mod just helps you remove everything all at once. Accessories, every single thing. Well, uh, her socks are still on. You get what I mean. Now this mod is supposed to go in hand with Misery Yuki styled look hider, which it would hide all of these styled looks from being here because i'm up to 99 which with the style look hydrated it would bring it down to one now onto one of my favorites from this year is the controlled positions cast tuning mod by northern serbian winds listen i used to avoid the tattoo section because i was tired of my sims doing 180s every time i clicked on something but with this mod they stay in one direction like they stay in one direction they're not moving she's not moving she's not turning i absolutely love this mod to death this mod just keeps them facing forward as you click on tattoos especially when i like have to go through the swatches they just stay in one place and look what happens when you go into the nail section the nails are positioned perfectly so you can see the nails and the design my nails currently are glitching with something but just imagine nice beautiful nails on her for a second <laughs> So this next mod is one of my favorites. It's every time you create a randomized sim, they don't receive any makeup or accessories on their faces. She's actually really cute. We go through her outfit, she has no makeup, no accessories on. And that's just a really big help because I hate going in one by one, removing accessories and makeup from sims. And they have like the strangest things on. This mod also works with the random generated townies in game, which means you won't have any weird townies walking around with who knows what on their face. And of course, my favorite mod of all time has to be the More Columns mod. Without this mod, I probably wouldn't even be making sims because finding CC is just so much easier with this mod. Instead of the two basic columns that EA gives you, I have five. And this just helps me navigate through all of my CC. Like, just look at it. So the next mod I have is the No EA Lashes. This just removes the blocks that EA calls lashes on your sim. It just makes the sim look a lot better in my opinion all right and then next we have the tidy details mod which basically helps organize your skin details your accessory and tattoo section with these little cards so i am the type of person who likes to stack pc and my overlays together so this mod kind of helps me know what i'm clicking on if that makes sense for example this is the quote-unquote simple section and just underneath it is the most sections but if i didn't have this mod i probably would have wouldn't know if these are connected or not this mod just kind of helps separate different sections in the skin details and tattoo section so you can do a lot of cc stacking and last but not least is this hello kitty infant cushion which i think is super cute and adorable this mod you guys definitely need is the bare skin tone skin pack by lamity sims this skin tone pack just adds a better variety of skin tones because i believe base game skin tones look very weird like the undertones look very weird and odd we're just gonna use a random sim for example so she already has base game skin tone and it just looks so weird and like just dull like all i don't know like something about the base game skin tones just they just don't look 
natural which is why i really enjoy the skin pack because everything is so natural so real and it's just really nice and beautiful and i don't know base game just looks so weird and grayed out lamatis also made occult skin tones as well for your occult sims with the occult skin pack i like that it like kind of gives a natural highlight to the face but overall this is one of my favorite skin packs moving on to skin details i am currently in love with the little details face kit by Nazuri. I feel like face kits are a good way to help diversify your sims and it helps them not look so dead and so flat. So I want to say that this face kit adds more like shadows to your sim. So you have like forehead shadows. You have some for the eyes. There's multiple for the eyes. My favorite has to be the one for the nose which this is the current one she's wearing and I felt like it was a good way to show and highlight that her nose is her best feature on her face another face kit i've been really into is the one by ok Roo, which i was surprised when ok Roo dropped this um i mainly use the darker upper lip because i think it looks so nice and so sexy like her lips are so juicy this is one of my favorite face kits because not only does it have like mouth corners and like it highlights the cupid's bow area it has three opacities as well and i am a person who's big on opacity because sometimes it can be too harsh but i like when cc creators give us options so it was very hard for me to find new nose masks because once I find one I like, I stick with it through the mud like me and that nose mask are never giving up all of my sims will have the same exact nose doesn't matter the preset that's underneath it my sims will have the same exact nose so this is the n5 nose mask by northern serbian winds this is what her nose looks like without the nose mask and this is what it looks like on it just looks so nice and so airbrushed like her nose is my favorite thing about her um other than that from my past videos my skin detail favorites have been pretty consistent so i'm not going to to mention those ones again i just so happen to find a new nose mask and that's about it i'm not very big on accessories even though i have a lot i tend to forget to give my sims accessories but my go-to for ears and earrings are by sand 33 be warned majority of these are paywalled but you can get around that but they do make the cutest like they make the cutest ears ever these are just adorable i have another creator who is currently one of my favorites they're called saw ruin they too also make these big eared styled ears and they're just super cute super adorable they're probably about to be like why am i recommending necklace creators when i barely have any from them that's because i'm lazy and i forget to download certain cc okay but my favorite cc creator for necklaces is christopher 067 i constantly always forget to go back on their page and download necklaces but they have a ton and i mean like a bunch of necklaces to choose from and they come with a bunch of like just different colored gold swatches the options are endless and i love the attention to detail that they put into their work so for makeup i have this creator they're called cosmetic i think that's how you say it i think it's a play on word to cosmetic but they are the definition of a one-stop shop they have eyeliner, they have blush, they have eyeshadow, they have lip liner, they have lipstick, they have lip gloss, they have everything. Even to, they have lashes, like that is a definition of a one-stop shop. All you need is them and them alone. So it seems like their newer stuff does get grouped together because I hate when I download CC and I have to dig through it. In fact, oh, not me calling myself out. I hate when I'm going through like my CC and like the CC creators aren't like together with their own stuff it's just a hassle but you definitely need to check out cosmetic they have a ton like a bunch of makeup and i'm pretty sure it's maxis and alpha friendly they have everything for everyone you'll just love it for makeup i think me and this makeup creator for lips we're like two years strong because i have yet to find anything that satisfies me the way this lipstick does so if you've been following me for a while now you probably already know this lipstick if you are new here this is the graphic Gravity Lipstick by Rima Surion. This gloss, this lipstick, whatever you want to call it, it just looks like 
butter it looks so good on every single sim every single skin tone it is one of my favorite lip glosses ever like i cannot stray away from this at all i've tried to find new ones especially by the same creator i just can't give this specific one up if i'm not using gravity then probably using this one called uh this one is also really nice i like how it looks on all my sims and if i'm not using that then i'm using this one called prime by the same creator as well they just make a lot of, they make a lot of beautiful glosses and lipsticks i just I can't get over it they all look so nice so for the past like year or two years i have a specific eye fault preset whatever you want to call it that i use on all my sims and it's honestly like just like they have like no pupils basically my sims a majority of my sims don't have pupils so it's this eye preset right here this is by sims 3 melahonic i use 78 and 79 the most this is what 78 looks like and i usually go to the darkest color so it looks like they have no pupils but i mainly use 79 79 is my 100 go-to on literally all of my sims they just don't have any pupils they just it's just a solid color um sims 3 melahonic has a bunch of eyes so i'll link that one as well but i mainly use 78 and 79 if you were wondering so those are my must-have cast mods for 2023 hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye